Eurostar needs to be helped by the UK to avoid dire consequences, Prime Minister Boris Johnson was warned. Eurostar is on the brink of collapse after the pandemic left the service in financial turmoil. It is believed Eurostar has already faced a 95% fall in demand as the pandemic continues to make travel restrictions necessary. The company's annual revenues collapsed from £1 billion, 1 billion euros, in 2019 to about £180 million, 208 million euros, in 2020. On top of this, Eurostar has already borrowed £400 million, 460 million euros, and received a cash injection of £170 million, 197 million euros, from its owners. The rail operator is also under pressure to raise funding because of the £400 million debt hovering above its head. This has led to a disagreement between French politicians and the UK government over a bailout fund. Prime Minister Johnson has been pressured to help the company, but the UK sold its share in Eurostar in 2015 for £750 million, 863 million euros. Meanwhile, French state rail company SNCF owns 55% of the company, but Eurostar also employs around 3,000 people in the UK. The Rail, Maritime and Transport RMT, Union called on the government to help the service last July. Assistant General Secretary Mick Lynch said, short-term cuts would have dire long-term consequences. He said the union would be seeking talks to stop this cull of jobs and services which would leave Britain ill-equipped to kick-start the economy with cross-channel tourism and trade. Manuel Cortes, General Secretary of the Transport Salaried Staffs Association, TSSA, added, Eurostar provides a green strategic link between Britain and our European neighbours. It's absolutely crucial that these services are retained. Hugh Merriman, chairman of the Commons Transport Select Committee, joined the calls for UK to come up with a solution for Eurostar. Mr. Merriman continued, services have been stripped back to a bare minimum. It needs a joint, bespoke UK-French solution to help it through this crisis. Like airlines, quarantine and travel restrictions have blighted Eurostar's access to its markets during the pandemic. Unlike airlines, Eurostar has been shut out from government loans that have offered a lifeline. The Community of European Railway and Infrastructure Companies CER, warned that Eurostar's losses could have a big impact elsewhere. CER highlighted in December that the slump in passenger numbers across Europe's rail system could lead to €22 billion, Euros, 19 billion pounds, in losses for 2020. The trade group, which represents passenger and freight train operators, added, it's a totally extraordinary situation. There is no comparison for it, and it can and will lead to the bankruptcy of a number of companies, unless there is the political will to prevent it. The Channel Tunnel operator is in advanced discussions with a group of banks, including UK taxpayer-backed NatWest, to secure lifeline funding. Insiders said the company's attention had turned to restructuring its loans, following weeks of lobbying ministers on both sides of the channel for a bailout that is yet to yield a deal. There is an option for Eurostar to extend the June deadline for repayment for another 12 months, however this would mean the company would have to abide by strict financial rules. 